An electric pickup truck seemed unthinkable a few years ago. Trucks are designed to haul, tow, and play in remote areas where electric car chargers are scarce. Fast forward to today, and we're seeing a large number of electric trucks from well-known manufacturers that are planning to hit the market in a year or so. And Toyota is the latest major automaker to confirm plans to launch an electric truck. Although the media have chastised Toyota for being sluggish to embrace electric vehicles, that is about to alter dramatically. The Japanese automaker recently unveiled a slew of new Toyota and Lexus electric vehicle ideas. Nestled away in the rear corner, the so-called pickup EV attracted everyone's interest. It's our first look at Toyota's electric truck plans, and it's clear there's cause for optimism. Here's what we know about Toyota's first electric pickup truck. The pickup EV vehicle from Toyota is equipped with large off-road tires, and all of the electric trucks we've seen, from the GMC Hummer EV suit to the Ford F-150 Lightning and the Bollinger B2, have had one thing in common. They're huge. The Rivian R1T, for example, blurs the line between midsize and full-size pickups. According to photos, Toyota's pickup EV appears to be smaller. It features a sporty appearance with a bed and cabin that appear to be relatively tiny. It's likely that it's nearly tundra-sized, but while numerous stylistic features on the display truck match those on the new Tundra, the EV's bed and cab are stubbier. Electric pickup trucks have favored off-road capability. Off-roaders are popular, and EV trucks are ideal for them with their low center of gravity and high immediate torque. Toyota is almost certain to move on that route with an electric pickup truck. By 2025, Toyota expects to release 15 battery electric vehicles. We may anticipate the pickup being at the forefront of this trend. We don't know how far Toyota has progressed with the electric powertrain research. Still, the exterior design appears to be close to production ready. Toyota showed us a comparable top-secret model of the Tundra a few months before the public unveiling. We don't yet know what Toyota will call this truck. The Toyota Tacoma will get a new generation shortly, and electrification will almost certainly be a part of it. If Toyota does decide to develop an electric Tacoma, it will be challenging to find a vehicle that looks more like one than this. It's unclear if the Taco will be equipped with a hybrid or all-electric powertrain, or both but it will be one of the first mid-sized trucks in the U.S. to do so. According to rumors, the next-gen Tacoma will share its platform with the Tundra. Thus, a hybrid of the two trucks created expressly for an electric addition could be on the cards. Toyota could provide further information within the next year. Toyota has presented a full-blown concept vehicle previewing the EV truck after its announcement at the Shanghai Auto Show that it will bring hybrid and battery electric powertrains to its truck portfolio. Still, it stopped short of stating which individual nameplates would receive an electric edition. The reveal was part of a more significant Toyota event that showcased several of the company's upcoming electric vehicles. Consider this a huge thing, because this is the second time we've heard the car maker talk about powering its trucks. Given that both Chevrolet and Ford have stated that electric versions of the Silverado and F-150 are in the works, a full-size electric Toyota Tundra makes sense. Toyota's full-size truck is already in its third generation, and we shouldn't be surprised if the new pickup includes electrification in addition to the hybrid powertrain option. Toyota's hybrids have proven very popular. In 2021, the business, whose Prius was the category's first big hit, sold almost 584,000 units of hybrid cars and SUVs, giving it roughly 65% of the hybrid market in the U.S., slightly trailing Tesla's share of the battery electric vehicle market. Hybrids are particularly challenging because they require both a standard combustion engine, which requires air, fuel and exhaust systems, and a battery-powered motor, which necessitates high-voltage electronics and a large battery pack. Early on, this didn't matter because batteries were expensive, and building a hybrid that could achieve 40 or 50 miles per gallon was enough to help automakers fulfill fuel economy rules and win over some environmentally aware drivers. However, as battery costs fall, all electric vehicles can provide the range and performance that customers want in their cars and trucks, making vehicles with essentially two powertrains unnecessary for most applications. Toyota is hedging its bets, but its rivals aren't. By 2026, Ford Motor Company hopes to produce two million electric vehicles each year. It's electrifying several of its most recognizable vehicles, including the F-150 pickup truck, the Mustang, and the famous Transit vans. 
By 2025, GM wants to have 1 million electric vehicles on the road in North America. GM began by developing new vehicles such as Cadillac Lyric and Hummer and in 2023, an electric Chevy Silverado truck, Chevy Equinox crossover, and other electric vehicles will be available. By 2030, Volkswagen expects to produce more than 5 million battery electric vehicles per year. Toyota has increased its 2030 aim from 2 million to 3.5 million. Motor Trend commended the hydrogen-powered Mirai for having real style, but at $50,000 with a restricted refueling infrastructure, especially when compared to EV charging stations and limited availability, it's only offered in Hawaii and California in the US, it's niche vehicle at best. The curiously titled BZ4X by Toyota will enter a competitive crossover EV market, and with a starting price of around $44,000, the model is vying with the Tesla Model Y and others. Furthermore, with a range of up to 250 miles on a single charge, Car and Driver magazine concluded that the BZ4X is more utility player than MVP. Toyota's cautious approach could end up posing significant concerns in the future. If the predictions of the other major automakers are correct, electric vehicles will account for nearly half of all sales by 2030. And while firms risk reducing traditional vehicle sales, the alternative could be worse. If battery electric adoption grows by 50% by 2030, from 6% presently, around 50 million battery electric automobiles will be on the road worldwide. Toyota's battery electric market share would be around 7% if it sold everything it planned to build. This is significant, but lower than Toyota's current market share of 10 to 12% of global new light vehicle sales. Even Toyota's excellent hybrid market share may not be enough to protect it from the transition to electric vehicles. In China, where there are more significantly battery-powered electric models for sale than in the US, around 2.9 million battery-powered electric automobiles were purchased in 2021. Toyota sold 4.8 million cars in the year 1996, compared to 8.3 million for GM, but it was significantly more successful, earning around $3,700 in gross profit per vehicle versus $2,700 for GM. By 2000, the Camry had become America's best-selling car, and by 2021, Toyota had surpassed Ford as the country's largest new car seller. And just because it seems to be passive doesn't imply Toyota is ignoring the reality of an all-electric future, because planning for the future without the aggression of competitors is doable. So be on the lookout for what the company might be up to behind the curtain about EVs.